Namaste, welcome back to Sita Prakta channel and I am going to start a new playlist and uh, that playlist would be called AWS Card Clash. If you are wondering what this is, let me give you an overview of how AWS works, right? Because if you haven't, I would highly recommend you to register on this AWS website called Skill Builder. It's called AWS Skill Builder. I will provide the link in the description. Don't worry about it. So when you enroll into it, it actually has a free subscription, which is free. You don't have to pay anything. Then it has a monthly subscription and then it has annual subscription and then team subscription forget about team subscription that's not for us free subscription you will get so many free courses uh, for cloud practitioner you will get it when i say free courses yes they will explain you everything um, and also they will have solutions architect free course i guess that's about it i don't think there are any other free courses but you can go and check it out so those courses are like video courses and some of them are text which means you need to read and then you know follow along with them but they are very informational they are free right and then with the monthly subscription and annual subscription obviously you have to pay monthly subscription which is uh, 29.99 per month and annual subscription right now it's 400 dollars but sometimes i have seen it went to 240 dollars i had it for a year I want to renew it. I'm waiting for that offer to come back. But what is the advantage between monthly and annual? Well, as you can see, the price difference, a huge difference. And another awesome thing is there is something called digital classroom. That's something you won't get as part of monthly subscription. It's only available through annual. I will make a separate video on the whole skill builder some other time. But the point is, as part of that, there is something called Cloud Quest, which you can see here. As part of Cloud Quest, it's a video game. Uh, but not a video game uh, inside that game you will have labs you will play this game as you know different roles if you haven't checked out I'm not going to go much details into cloud quest we have separate playlists there uh, the entire cloud quest has uh, six or seven different roles as a cloud practitioner solutions architect um, serverless developer security networking uh, machine learning engineer as in those roles you will do bunch of projects overall projects we are there are 98 and all 98 projects as part of cloud quest we have done them we have uploaded on our channel if you haven't checked them out go check them out those playlist names are called aws cloud quest where you have 1 to 25 projects and then another playlist called aws um tutorial not tutorial aws projects for beginners to expert where we have 26 to 98 projects again links are provided in the description those are all real-time AWS designed projects. I can guarantee you one thing. Once you finish watching all 98 videos, you will have at least two to three years of real-time AWS experience. If you don't believe me, go watch those videos and then come and comment back saying like, I lied. Anyways, that's another one. And then you can see the skill builder in the cloud quest. So this card clash is part of that skill builder wherein it's not going to be a real-time project like cloud quest but here it is going to be an architecture design game uh, to be fact i already finished you know one of you know i think it has uh, three different uh, categories i finished one category where it had i guess 20 or so exercises what happened is my record i recorded it for three to four hours and it crashed and everything is gone so i'm re <laughs> recording this again i know right uh, so I am planning to make this as a series and each video will last for six minutes or so. I think I will max it to 10. If you can do two uh, games in that, I will put two. Otherwise, I will have one depending on you know how long the game, go game goes. But if you are asking why do I need to watch this or why do I need to do this? First of all, this is a free. Card Clash is free. Even Cloud Quest is free for Cloud Practitioner role. Cloud Practitioner role has 14 projects. You can go enroll to Skill Builder. In there, you will have Cloud Quest. Enroll into that course. Then 14 Cloud, I think now it is 15 projects. 15 Cloud Practitioner projects are free. Go do it. They will give you lab access to the all the uh, labs for those 15 projects. So it's a nice hands-on way to learn. Go ahead, register, do it. And even Card Clash, it's a free game it's completely free you might be asking well why do i need to do 
or play card class because you see this is an architecture design game if you are getting introduced into you know aws cloud or if you are interested to learn about different architectures uh, using different aws services then this is the right place since i already played this i know what it offers so i would highly recommend you to do it it's free right the the most you will lose is your time and uh, these days anyways we waste that time watching uh, youtube shots or insta reels or whatever it is so wasting time or spending time on this i don't think it's waste of a time learning anything i consider it as using your time um, appropriately anything any time you spend on social media i would consider that as waste but it's up to you i highly recommend though do it now let's go ahead and hit play okay so looks like there are different paths right now two paths are available similar to cloud quest uh, serverless is it's still locked i don't know if it's that's still in development or not but since cloud practitioner is the basic introduction to cloud let's go do that and then we'll go to solutions architect and by the time we finish that i hope serverless developer will be uh, ready but let's click on cloud practitioner this confirms high level cloud understanding it's ideal for those switching to a cloud career or seeking basic cloud knowledge creature miss gorilla each of these um, what do parts has an animal it kind of destroys uh, in between our games if they are not protected we'll talk about that in a minute let's select it okay i think this has 15 as you can see i have finished all 15 and depending on uh, how many how much percentage you are scoring because in this game you will have an ai playing against you and if ai scores more you will not get three stars if you play well then you will get three stars as you can see i got three stars in all of them i mean not first attempt half of them i got it first attempt all three but half of them i didn't i had to play it again but right now i have to play it one more time so i don't know if i will get the three stars again or not uh, but you have 15 levels i you can call it so as i said each video this is this is the introduction i will just have level one and going forward depending on how much time i'm spending on each level either it will have one or two or three so let's go and do the first level just click on it and it will explain briefly an auto scaling group contains a collection of amazon ec2 instances that are treated as a logical grouping for the purposes of automatic scaling and management so this particular level one is about auto scaling groups and here it shows that architecture what cards does it include it includes scaling groups ec2 elb and rds so your architecture is going to have this and security cards you are going to have iam and security group why you need security cards if you don't protect one of your service once you place it the opposition ai can steal it if you don't want them to steal it then you can protect it using the appropriate security service for example ec2 you will protect it with security group because that's the firewall for ec2 right and if there is something else that requires iam as the uh, security then you will use that appropriately basic simple and uh, again you heard right in this particular path you have the animal miss gorilla so miss gorilla once in a while will try to destroy and if any of your service is not protected then it might get destroyed so even these security cards will help you with that start game keep track of your deck count to know if the game is getting close to the end we will have a deck as well okay this is the user interface on where we will play the game okay so you need to close i mean this initial video is going to go a little bit longer because it's the first time we are playing so pay attention to here these are our cards in my stack i have 46 and he will have his own stack we cannot see it this is the ai and we cannot see their, their cards and in each hand we will have six cards uh, if you want you can uh, throw them in trash as well if you don't if you think that they are not useful for your rounder etc or if they are duplicate cards you can throw them out remember but remember not to exhaust your cards in your stack if you throw all of them out you might there is a chance of your cards being exhausted so keep an eye for that then here you see that's the opponent's energy 
this is your energy if you want to place a card each card has a particular energy so first of all if you look at the architecture diagram this is about auto scaling groups and here this is the region and then in the re in this region you have two availability zones availability zone a availability zone b and in this region you have only one vpc right now and both availability zones are in this uh, VPC obviously for auto scaling you have to have that because they don't auto scaling don't go cross region Now you can see there are two tiers web tier and a database tier So now basically we are making highly available both our instances in web tier. What will you have? Obviously you will have an EC2 instance and then uh, primary DB it's a database and the read replica again database tier and here you will have an auto scaling group uh, taking it there and uh, since it's coming inside this would i would feel this like a alb because that's where you are distributing traffic and this will be auto scaling basic basic based on the traffic you will add or uh, remove the instances you got the architecture now you know what to put what not to put if you want to place a card here we clearly know this is a alb and even at the top they are giving hints distribute network traffic to improve application scalability which is a ALB right if you have to place an ALB card do I have an ALB card I don't have an ALB card and clearly you know in this architecture you would need an ALB auto scaling EC2 and RDS we don't have any use of uh, lambda so you can throw that out into the trash because I don't need lambda for this one okay so that's gone I will definitely need this one and this one doesn't have any plus this one has plus three minus one what is that that's energy so you can every round you can play one of these plus cards that will add your energy once you had your energy you can go ahead and place that many cards on these slots for example i have rds i can go ahead and place this so you see the number two right what does what happens it will take two energy from me got it and data uh, this is my rds you cannot protect it using iam actually you can okay you can use i am to protect it or uh, you can use um, what else security group to protect it so it's protected even if gorilla attacks nothing will happen and the ai cannot steal it now even though these are empty slots even though i have energy i cannot place any other card because i don't have any other card i need a read replica i need ec2 auto scaling i don't have them you might say like oh you have more plus can you play yeah no i cannot only one card one plus card in a round so if i play it it will just say you already used so once my round is done i will click end remember if you have two cards here then when your next round comes four cards will be pulled from this stack got it i am not going to explain these rules in the next video so play uh, close attention to this video and here you will see my score since i put two i got two so overall if you see there is six ten fourteen if you get more than sixty five percent 14 in 14 if you say 6 70 percent let's say 70 percent um 14 3 is 40 so it will be 10 at least if you get 10 you will get three stars if you get lower than 10 then you won't get three stars got it so right now it's two but that doesn't mean you will have to they might steal and they might remove your score sometimes since it's protected i'm good right now so let's hit end these cards will stay four more will come in my next so that guy is playing as well let's see what he's going to play so he used some place cards now he has a read replica now you see he didn't protect it okay now if i have a read replica i can still or i don't need a read replica let me i will tell you what to do so there are two ec twos and they only need two two i can go ahead and place them any before that i will try to place this place three now i have seven energy and uh, this only has plus one i have plus two plus two so i don't need this i can scrap this one reason i'm scrapping is i get new cards but remember to keep an eye on your stack all the time i can go ahead and place these two here but what happens is i don't have a protection for those two so that guy can steal it but since i have plenty of energy i will risk it and if you want to steal his card you need to have that card with you then you can steal his but right now i don't so if you want to steal you you will spend three energy okay i don't have uh, that card to steal his so i am ending my turn
I hope you understand. Now he can steal either of them because they are not protected. Let's end it. And this guy, I think every four rounds or so, he tries to hit. See, he placed the auto scaling. I can steal it. He didn't protect it. And okay, this guy is hitting. Oh, not now. In next round, I think he will hit. Whatever is protected, one of them will be removed for us. Okay, we have ELB. We can place it here, but that will finish the round. Okay, that is good. We have six, but I will get nine. Can I steal anything? This is useless. Uh, let's steal his since we have a lot of energy. Actually, let me use this. Six points. Then I will steal this. Right? It's not protected. And once I place the last card, the game will be done. So if I place ELB, I will get 11 points. The game is done. And I, since we have uh, more than 65%, I think we, we won. Okay, you can take a screen some uh, screenshot of this for your uh, information. But this is the architecture. Now you know how the this basic auto scaling works, right? You will auto scaling, you will have these and the database highly available, etc. So let's look at match summary. How long did I take? Seven minutes. I got 11, three. So I will get three stars. So 79% I got, 21% the AI got, no fouls both. And I spent 13 energy, he spent only five. And I stole one. So you can see all that. So let's click end game. And they are saying learn. I already did this. Continue. So basically, that's about the game. Uh, I hope you have understood it. If not, we will play more. Don't worry about it. But trust me, do it hands on. You try to do it on your own. If you don't are unable to do it or unable to figure out how to do the architecture, etc., come and watch my videos. Okay. And let's say you are not interested. At least sit there and watch. You will learn something. These are architectures that are really really will be useful in your interviews and at your work as well so i would highly recommend to do this it's free just spend i mean each one of them maybe 10 minutes you will spend so it is useful so just trust me and do it so see you in the next video i will end this one because it's already 17 minutes i don't want to make this long so in the next video maybe we'll do two levels all right thank you very much and if you like this and if you want me to continue doing this as a series um so all you have to do is like and comment these videos so that this video will be uh, shown to other people when they search for this one and thank you very much uh, don't forget to subscribe as well see you in the next video have a great day peace out